And we heard from the president, he weighed in on this in the Oval Office, meeting with North Korean defectors. Uh, this was right after the memo was transmitted from the White House back to the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence. Uh, listen to what the president said after reading the memo. I think it's terrible. You want to know the truth? I think it's a disgrace. What's going on in this country, I think it's a disgrace. The memo was sent to Congress. It was declassified. Congress will do whatever they're going to do. But I think it's a disgrace what's happening in our country. And of course, of course, what uh, Congress did was it decided to release the memo, at least the Republican side of the House Intelligence Committee did. A statement from Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the press secretary, a short time ago, uh, going into a little bit more detail about the White House reaction and where we go from here. Sarah Huckabee Sanders saying the memorandum raises serious concerns about the integrity of decisions made at the highest levels of the Department of Justice and the FBI to use the government's most intrusive surveillance tools against American citizens. The memo goes on to say, Minority members of the committee have reportedly drafted a separate memorandum. The administration stands ready to work with Congress to accommodate oversight requests consistent with applicable standards, including the need to protect intelligence sources and methods. What she is referring to there is a competing memo that was drafted by Democrats on the Intelligence Committee, which we understand uh, we haven't seen it yet, of course, and we don't know much about it, but may refute some of the claims in the Nunes uh, memo. Uh, also hearing from Arizona Senator John McCain about this this afternoon, McCain in a statement saying, quote, the latest attacks on the FBI and Department of Justice serve no American interests, no parties, no presidents, only Putin's. The American people deserve to know all of the facts surrounding Russia's ongoing efforts to subvert our democracy, which is why special counsel Mueller's investigation must proceed unimpeded. Our nation's elected officials, including the president, must stop looking at this investigation through the warped lens of politics and manufacturing partisan sideshows. If we continue to undermine our own rule of law, we are doing Putin's job for him. Obviously, Shep, strong opinions on both sides of this issue this afternoon. FBI agents and the former director are speaking out as well. They are. We're hearing from James Comey, who, uh, since he decided that he was going to take to Twitter on a frequent basis, has made no attempt to hide his true feelings now. Comey tweeting out, quote, that's it? Dishonest and misleading memo wrecked the House Intel Committee, destroyed trust with intelligence community, damaged relationship with FISA court, and inexcusably exposed classified investigation of an American citizen. For what? DOJ and FBI must keep doing their jobs. And then another uh, statement today from the uh, association that represents the FBI agents, which said, quote, the men and women of the FBI put their lives on the line every day in the fight against terrorists and criminals because of their dedication to our country and the Constitution. The American people should know that they continue to be well served by the world's preeminent law enforcement agency. FBI special agents have not and will not allow partisan politics to distract us from our solemn commitment to our mission. Now, one of the big questions in all of this, Shep, is what is the fate and future of Rod Rosenstein, who the memo says signed one of those Pfizer surveillance warrants on Carter Page? Listen to what the president said in the Oval Office when he was asked if he continues to have confidence in Rosenstein. Listen here. Do you think you're more likely to fire Rosenstein? Do you still have confidence in him after reading the memo? You figure that one out. The president asked, do you still have confidence in Rosenstein? The president's response, you figure that one out. But if the president were to try to fire Rosenstein, it looks like he's going to go have, he have to go through his attorney general, Jeff Sessions, to do it because Jeff Sessions this afternoon voiced confidence in Rosenstein and the number three at the Justice Department, Rachel Brand, saying that they, quote, represent the kind of quality and leadership that we want in the department. Shep, there's no question that the release of this memo has fired passions on a lot of different sides. It certainly has. John Roberts, it's great to see you. Thank you. Thank you.